Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a person module with bio on click. So this is the final result that we're aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. Throughout this tutorial, we'll be using some CSS code, which can be found in the link that I provided in the show notes below. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So this page we're going to create can be named whatever you want. So I'm just going to call this uh, person. Click on use the div builder and we need to go straight to the visual builder. Right, so now that we're on the visual builder, what we need to do is to add three columns. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add our three column structure. So what we're going to use here for the modules is the person module. So I'm just going to search for it here and here it is. So I'm going to select that. But for now, I'm not going to add anything yet. So I'm just going to save it. And then I'm going to come over here to my row settings. So in these row settings, we need to make some adjustments to our backgrounds. So in our column background one, let's add a background color. And I'm going to paste my color in here like that. Next, we need to add our CSS code to this column one background. So I'm going to come over here to advanced, click on custom CSS, and we need our column one main element. Okay, so now that we have our CSS code, we just need to save and then let's go into our person module. So I'm going to come over here and click on our settings. And then we can add our name. So you can add whatever name you need in here. Okay, this is Steven, so he's a manager. And for the Facebook URL, I'm just going to put a blank link like that. Next, we're going to go into the advanced tab and add some CSS code. So we're going to come over here and, and add this CSS code to the member image like that. Okay, so now that we have all this information, I'm going to go ahead and save. So what we're going to do here to make our work much easier is to clone this bio. So I'm just going to do it twice. In fact, I'm going to copy and paste it. So I'm just going to hit Command C if you're on a Mac and Control C if you're on a PC. And then to paste is Command V or Control V if you're on a PC. So you can see I've pasted it there and I'm going to do it one more time here. Now, the reason why we're doing this is just to uh, save us time to add um, all these effects. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add a section. Now, in this section, we're going to add some text boxes that will link to each of these people up here. So I'm going to click this plus button here, add our regular section. And uh, before I add in our columns, I just need to add our background color. So I'm going to come over here to the settings, click on background, and I'm going to click this plus button to add our background color. Right, so now that we have a background color, I'm just going to go ahead and save. So next, we're going to add... Our, our rows. So I'm going to click this plus button, add a single row. Now in these rows, we're going to add two text modules. So I'm just going to search for it and add my text module. So this is going to be my, my first text module. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a title. So I'm just going to say fun facts as my uh, title for this. And I'm going to go ahead and save changes. And then I'm going to come over here and add another one. Oh, in fact, I'll just duplicate this one, go into the settings, and we're going to add our text in here, like that. And then I'm going to go and save. Okay, so here I'm just going to say fun facts about Stephen, like that. So now let's center this, because right now it's all aligned to the left. So I'm going to go into our module settings, and then click on design, text, text orientation, centered, and then if we need to, we can make this even much larger. So I'm just going to leave it at 17, our line height at 1.7, and then over here on the text, so it's so it's easier for us to read, I'm just going to make it light. Okay, so now that's, now that's much easier for us to read. So let's go ahead and do the same on the top one. So I'm going to save this, come over here to the top, click on this gear icon to enter our settings, click on design, and then here, text, change that to light, text orientation, we're going to center that. So for our font size, we're going to make this 31. So it's nice and big, like that. Uh, our line height is fine at 1.7, but uh, what you could do is you can adjust this if it's a bit too high. So it just depends on uh, your design. So 1.7 is looks uh, fine for what we're trying to achieve here. So for now, I'm just going to save. Now the next thing we're going to do is to 
duplicate these two modules twice because we want each one to correspond to uh, one of our users right here. So the first one will correspond to Steven and obviously we're going to change these names here. So let's duplicate these. Now to make things easier I'm just going to come over here and click my expand settings and go into my wireframe view because I find it quite easier to just do it fast in here. So I'm just going to do this twice. In fact I can label this if I need to. So let's call this description and let's say title. Right, so the reason why I'm doing this is because it makes it easier for me to see where, where I am as I'm duplicating these. So I'm just going to hit the duplicate button twice and I'm also going to do it twice for the description, like that. And then just drag this into position. So I'm just going to drag this right there and then the title right there between the two descriptions. So now we have a title and description, title, description, title, description. Okay, so now that's uh, fine. Let's go into our full view. So now we can see we have them all lined up. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to come in here and um, add our colors so that all these match, uh, all these match and also add some images. So I'm going to start off here and uh, let's just change this name. We're going to call her Melissa. So Melissa here is a sales manager and this is James. And James can also be a sales manager. But uh, I mean, you can change this to whatever you want. So I'm just going to add sales manager. Next, I'm going to come over here and add the background colors to and our background shadows to our row settings. So I'm going to come over here into our row settings, click on background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this same color to the background. So I'm just going to copy it, go to background two, add my color in here like that. Go to column three and do the same. OK, I'm going to go ahead and save. So now it's time to add our images. So I'm going to come over here to uh, module settings, click on image, and then I'm going to click on upload. Click upload files. Now all my files are in my downloads folder, so I have to navigate to my downloads folder. In fact, I'm in the wrong folder. I need to go into my downloads folder. Okay, so these are the images I need to add. So I'm going to click my first image. Or in fact, to make things even easier for me, I'll just highlight all of them, click open. So now they, they will all be added to my media library. So with the first one clicked, I'm just going to go ahead and click upload an image. So now we can see our image has been added. So that's looking good. I'm going to save this, go on to the next one, which is Melissa. I'm going to click this gear icon, come over here to image, click upload. Now that it's in my uh, media library, it's much easier for me to find them. So I'm just going to click on it and upload image, save it, go on to the last one. And this is James. Again, we're going to click the image, click upload and select the image. OK, so now we have all our images in place. So we can see here that the first one is the one that has this drop down uh, shadow. So what we need to do is we need to add this to the other two rows. So I'm going to come over here to our row settings. Click on advanced custom CSS. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it in column two main element right there and column three main element. Right, so now we can see that all these now look the same. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Now it's time to add some CSS to our person module. So I'm going to come over here, click this gear icon, click the third tab, which is the advanced tab. And we're going to come over here to CSS ID and classes. And we're going to add our CSS class. So I'm just going to paste it here because this is going to be person one. And then we're going to, it's going to be person two for Melissa and person three for James. OK, so I want to save this one. Go on to Melissa, click on the gear icon, third tab and CSS ID and classes. We're going to paste it here and this is going to be person two. Save that and go to the last one and add our CSS, ID, CSS class. And this is going to be person three like that. And let's save. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a CSS class to our to our section. So I'm going to come over here to our section settings, click the advanced tab and I'm going to click on CSS ID and classes. And we're going to paste the CSS class. To, and this is section underscore one. So next, we need to add some CSS classes to our text module. So we're going to come over here 
and do it. in fact because there's quite a few of them here i need to keep track of them so again we're going to come over here to a wireframe view and we're going to do it this way so i'm going to click this gear icon to access my text settings click advanced and then i'm going to come over here to css id and classes and i'm going to start adding my classes here so that's div text one come over here to my description and then we're going to do the same and then what you need to do is to continue adding these classes now for the next one it needs to be the next pair needs to be div text two so go ahead and add div, div text two for that okay so once you've added all your css classes what we need to do next is to add some custom CSS code to all these text modules. So click on this main element here on the custom CSS and add this code. So again, as I mentioned, you need to add this to all of them. So I'm going to save that, come over here to the next one, click the advanced tab, custom CSS, and just paste this. So you need to do this to all of them. Okay, so once you're done adding all these, you can go ahead and save. And then we're going to go back into our desktop view. Okay, so what we need to do next is to disable these sections on both mobile and tablet. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on advanced, visibility and display on phone and tablet. Okay, save this one, go on to the next one, do the same thing, click advanced, click on visibility and disable on phone and tablet and click save. So in the current layout we have, we've disabled the phone and tablet layout. So if you want to have uh, the separate layout for the phone and tablets, you can just follow the um, article, which I'll link in the show notes below. But for now, we're going to do the desktop view and pretty much it's a matter of just dragging the modules just to rearrange them for the mobile and tablet views. Okay, so our final step is to add some JavaScript code. So in order for you to do that, you need to come over here to our expand settings click on wireframe view now what i've done here is i've just added a new mod uh, new module and uh, it, this is just a code module so to add it i just click this plus button here and then just add the code module right so in the code module if i click here in this gear icon we can see that this is the code that you need to add now as i mentioned before this code can be found in the post that i've linked in our show notes below now this is only for the desktop version, so you need to add the two blocks of uh, code and the other code is for the C for the uh, desktop view. But for this, this should work fine and I'm going to go ahead and save. Now before I save, the reason why we're adding the, um, the code module is because we want this JavaScript code to be loaded on this particular page because this just makes your page much faster rather than adding this to, site, uh, to our whole website. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead here now and save. And then we're going to exit our wireframe view. Okay, so now we're back here. I'm just going to save. And then we're going to exit the visual builder and then test this to see if it's working okay. So I'm going to click on exit visual builder. Okay, so now when I click on Steven, you can see here it's fun facts about Steven. If I click Melissa, now it's changing and James. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you will be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.